in section 9.1, we're learning what inheritance means in Java. So the main thing that we should remember about inheritance is that we can create a superclass subclass relationship with the word extends. And when we do that, the subclass inherits all of the attributes and behaviors from the superclass. Okay. So here's an example. I have a class A. Class A has two integers that belong to it, right? We call these the attributes of the class. So we've typically referred to those as the instance variables, and they still are, okay? Attributes just is like another word that means to, to describe an object. And I forgot the R, <laughs> okay? And uh, right here we have our constructor. We're going to learn in our next video that constructors are not inherited. Uh, only the attributes and the methods are. <clears throat> and down here we have our behaviors. And this is what our class A object can do. These are the methods of the class. So the methods and the instance variables, the attributes and the behaviors are going to be inherited by any class that extends class A, meaning it inherits from it. All right, well, let's go take a look at that then. I've set up a class B that extends class A. All right, so some other ways that I could phrase that would be in a more of an English sense, I could say class B inherits from class A. Okay, so when you use the keyword extends, as I have here, and I've said that class B extends A, I'm saying that class B inherits from class A. What does it mean to inherit from class A? Well, I get all of its attributes and its behaviors. So what that means is if I look in class A and I see some attributes like number one and number two, they also belong to class B. In fact, if they are public, I can use them in class B. So right here, I'm using number one. You'll notice that number one was not declared anywhere within class B. Normally this would be illegal. I can't use a variable from another class. The only reason that I'm allowed to here is because I have inherited from class A. If I went back to class A, I could also use either of these methods, get sum or two string. They are common behaviors now shared with class B. And since they're public, I'm free to use them from outside of that class. Anywhere I have access to them, class B has now been granted access to both of those methods. So I could also call the get sum method here. Okay. Now, again, only the public methods and instance variables could be used in this way. If I tried to use number two, which was given private access, the fact that I've extended that class doesn't supersede the fact that private variables can't be used outside of their class. And so it tells me that right here. Okay. It's got private access, so I can't do that. Okay. But I could maybe call the get sum method and subtract number one from it. And if you went and looked at that code, then I'd be left with number two. Okay. So that'd be an interesting way to do it. All right. This class has some of its own stuff like word one, word two, get words. You can't take this stuff back up a level. So inheritance only goes one direction. So if I went up to class A, and I tried to use word two, that would not work. That's going to be an error, okay? Because you only inherit from the superclass to the subclass. So I can take number one and use it in the subclass, but I can't take word two from the subclass and try to use it in the super. So it doesn't work that way, okay? So again, inheritance only goes one direction from the super to the sub. When I say inherits from, okay, you may have heard me throwing these terms around. Class B is now the super, sorry, <laughs> the subclass, okay, of class A. And it's, I should say, I shouldn't say it's the, because it could actually, class A could have multiple subclasses. Uh, however, a class can only have one super class, okay? So you can only extend one class. 
So if I say that class B extends class A, I can't then extend another class. And you may have remember in the notes, there was the term is A, okay? So we also say that class B now is a class A. Remember that's different than the has a relationship. So has a means like, for example, if I made a class called book and I made a separate class called author, I might put as an instance field inside of my book class author because all books have an author, but it wouldn't be correct to say that a book is an author or that an author is a book, but that has a has a relationship. So the classes would be related just in a different way. All right. So not only can I use this inherited behaviors and attributes here, I can also use them through class references. So if I go to my main method where I've created some class A and class B objects, <clears throat> my class B object here, BBB, is free to use the get some method. That get some method is not inside of class B. So normally if I call a method on an object, I go to that class to find the method and look for its instructions. It's not in here. There's no method in this class called get some. So why is this legal all of a sudden? How come I can call the get some method on a class B reference? Well, because it's been inherited. So because of this, because class B extends class A, and because there's a public int get some method in class A, that's what made all of this legal. If I went back to class B and I got rid of this, well, now I'm going to get error messages because I've lost that connection between the two. Okay. So now it can't find number, uh, I can't find get some, can't find number one, can't find get some. So it can't find these things that it was able to before because we lost that connection. Right. Uh, I could also use, for example, here, that public instance field that we saw inside of class A, number one, we could even like change its value. Now, typically in our course, we keep all of the instance fields private. So this isn't an issue. But if you did have public instance fields in a super class, you could access them through subclass references. Okay. Just like I did with the method a second ago. And like I showed you earlier, inheritance is a one way street. So what I can't do, I can't try to call this get words method, which is located in class B on a class A reference. That's going to be an error. So you may have noticed I had that line commented out when I uncomment it. Now it invokes an error because using this reference of class A will not lead the compiler to that method. And that's why it's saying that it can't find it. Okay. Because the compiler is going to look inside class A. It doesn't see it. And it doesn't see anything here like that tells it where to go look. I can't let class A extend class B. That wouldn't work. They can't go in a circle like that. So there's really no way to make this connect. Okay. So I'm going to turn that back off. All right. And that's the basic concept of inheritance. The subclass inherits all of the attributes and behaviors of the superclass but it doesn't inherit the constructor. So if you tried to reference that constructor inside of class B, okay, that wouldn't work. We'll see that in the next video.